Hello again internet. Right, front brakes time. did the back brake last time uh, and I was aware that video was getting quite long so uh, split it into two parts but this is part two, the front brake. So the reservoir is here on that one, uh, screw on the side to hold the retainer in there and pretty easy to get to which is good. So I'm going to take the cap off it, in fact I'm just going to loosen the cap for now. Let's, no, it's not going to go without that. So I'll take that off, loosen the cap off and then drain all the fluid out and pretty much do the same as the back brakes. So the cap is loosened, just now I'm going to take the, the nipple cover off there. Um, obviously stick a 10mm on there, like so. And then we're going to get our trusty vacuum tool on there, like so. I'm going to build up a little bit of vacuum, like so. Uh, whatever that is, and crack that 10 mil. And hopefully, as you should see, like that, some nice, pretty clean fluid comes out. I've got a feeling I did the fluid on this not so long ago, to be honest. Um, so I don't expect it to be too dirty. So, yeah, so build up a little bit of pressure. Oh, there you go, suck all that fluid there. It's pretty quick doing this, to be honest. So we've got top, um, not much fluid in these lines, obviously. And yep, that is now empty. Um, but what I'm going to do is put some cloth around there just to make sure, again, I don't spill any on any paintwork because it's, uh, it's horrible stuff, this brake cleaner. It will strip paint for you. And there you go, the cap is off and the reservoir is empty. Is it nice and clean in there? Yeah, looks that way. Right, let's pull the last bit of fluid out the other side and then um, we'll get the calipers off the same as the back ones. Or the back one. Again, a little bit of vacuum. And crack the nipple. There you go. Should be the last bit of fluid <laughs> sounds familiar there you go the last bit of fluid in the system right let's hit it then 212 mils I believe yes they are everything's 12 13 and 14 on these bikes well almost everything apart from the screws and the allen keys and anyway these are 12 mil let's go for it Okay, so it's off. There you go. Just a couple of bolts and off it comes. Not too bad at all. Now, I believe on this one, we have to take that top silver cover off. Let's get some light on there. So a couple of bolts there and there, little allens. And I believe the pin is in the middle there with the split pin. So the split pin comes out with the pin and then the pads will just simply drop out. Then obviously give it a bit of a clean up, make sure the pistons are working okay and uh, reassemble. Okay, the cover is off, and of course the worst thing uh, to get this cover off is um, to get those Allen screws out. And of course you go through your biscuit tin full of Allen keys um, that you've been accumulating for the past 10 years plus, and um, try and find one that actually fits them. Um, probably spend uh, 20 minutes doing that, but um, yeah, I'm sure you know where we're going with this one. Anyway, <laughs> the cover's off, the Allen bolts are out, so now I'll take out that split pin just in there, and the bar will come out and we can drop the pads. Let's do it. And as if by magic, there you go. So, yep, split pin out, pin out, pads out. Right, obviously going to give this a good clean up, make sure all the pistons are working properly and they're nice and free and easy, as I did before. And then down to the reassemble. Um, I'm not going to take this one to the bench this time. Um, I'm not going to take the braided hose off there because there's no need. There's plenty of, as you can see, plenty of movement. So I can do it quite easily. Kneeling down here on the floor, crippling up my old man knees. Right, catch me in a bit. Well, as I say, you do live and learn. Um, I didn't expect there to be a problem with this, to be honest, which is why I drained the fluid first. But I think what I'm going to have to do is reintroduce fluid back into the system again, because um, although all this side here pushed in OK, all this side pushed in OK, these two here will not move, um, which is a shame, even with a little bit of force behind them, um, using a little bit of wood in there. They will not move, um, so I'm not happy with that, uh, which means, yeah, I think I'm going to introduce fluid back into the system again, and what I'm going to do then is use the brake lever to pump them out, 
and work them backwards and forwards until I'm happy with them. If I'm not happy with them then it will simply get taken off and it will get stripped down. Simple as that. Right, let's try um, introducing fluid first. Okay, fluid is introduced. Now the bit of suction. And you see all the air bubbles coming out of there. Now they've stopped. Oh no, I was going to say they stopped, but they haven't. Just want to keep an eye on that top just to make sure it's okay. Right, that looks good to me. I don't see anything else coming out, so we'll nip that up. Um, again, I'll probably bleed it after I've done this anyway. Um, I wasn't kind of planning on doing it this way. Um, but these must. Right, okay, so that's got enough fluid in there, I believe, to pump it. Let's um, try and get these pistons free. Still here. <laughs> oh, all good fun. Right, so I know those that middle one there and that back one there are C. So what I'm going to do um, is stick some wood in between the middle one and that one and try and get the end one working. Um, if I can get the end one moving, um, get some WD around there and uh, try and free it off. But uh, yeah, going to block it up with wood and uh, use the brake so to try and free it all looks a bit precarious i know but i've clamping that back one which is nice and free i've got the middle one and that one clamped and now i'm going to try and free that one off and get it moving so i'm happy with it um give me a minute so as you can see i've got it moved out let's get some wd around it and um gently massage it back in again let's see if we can get that that moving and uh then it's just the middle one and uh, I'll be happy with that. As long as I can get them moving so I can push them in with uh, my two thumbs, I'm happy. If it's taking grips to get them in, then not so much. Well, I've definitely got it moving better. Um, all of them are attracting now um, with you know, a little bit of help. Um, mainly using the, the bits of wood down there and that's the best way I find to do it. Just several sizes of different sizes of wood and just sort of lever them in there. Um, but I'm not entirely satisfied with the way it is at the moment So I think what I'm going to do is one by one fetch them all out um, Most of them are pretty free to be honest uh, But fetch them out one by one give them a real good soaking with WDs and grease and Probably leave it overnight because it is now starting to get dark <laughs> um, So this is not something I expect to do going to part three But to be honest um, I think there's going to be a part three. <laughs> oh, happy days, eh? Breaks. Um, but they've got to be right. They've got to be right. That's the main thing. Uh, the bike doesn't get used a lot, um, so I suppose that could be why they've seized up. But um, let's get them right and make sure that uh, everything's good. <sighs> okay, well, I've spent far too long doing this, and uh, there is going to be a part three, definitely. Um, I've got loads of fluids in there. Uh, WD-40, a little bit of uh, spray grease and stuff like that. And uh, hello. <laughs> so he's going overhead. Um, where was I? Yeah, sorry, I digress. Um, yeah, I've got plenty of uh, WD-40 and stuff in there. I mean, they are working okay. Um, um, all but that one there, I managed to get back with my thumbs now. So I'm happy with it. Yeah, up to that point, that one's still a little bit sticky. So I want to give it a bit of a soak overnight and just see what happens. I haven't tackled the other side yet. Maybe I should. But to be honest, I think for one day, I've had enough. Right, catch you in part three all. Good night.